I'm a conservative man. One roof's <laughs> enough. Yeah, no more. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake, and today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg from Braggio. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. I don't know, Jake. I want to know the answer of how this band... Oh, yeah, what's that? I can't even give you that answer. Um, at one point uh, yesterday evening, while partaking in some delicious beverages, I looked down at my arm and it was bleeding. Um, so it was like that moment from Frozen um, where Olaf was, just looks down and he goes, Oh, I'm impaled. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I don't know where it came from. I just looked down and I was bleeding. Huh. Well, happy and birthday to Blake. I naturally blame him. Yes. yes. It's Blake's fault. Yes. However, this now raises the question of how often, how many times have you seen Frozen? Just the ones. Well, do you seen, remember? No, I've seen memes. the meme more meme. than anything. The memes. Okay. I've legitimately never seen Frozen. Yeah, either. Really? Yeah. I, I was worse. surprised when you were like, yeah, Frozen reference. I was like, okay, Jake. Well, there was nothing I could liken it to from The Lion King. I'm sorry. It's just like when Scar got his scar. Except he didn't get the scar in The Lion King. Yeah, but... Scar had it's... the scar. That's why he was called Scar. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise his name was Garbage. Yeah, no. And, then, <laughs> and Old Mate in the second one got the scar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's Sus just like... Came. It's just like then. Yep. Sus came the name. Um... Um... Keldo, the Sacred Guardian. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I remember at the end of Lion King 1 when that child's born, and they're like, oh, yes, Keldo, the Sacred Guardian. <laughs> One day you'll be with Real five. <laughs> um, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Eh. It's the way it has been for the past couple weeks of just... Eh. It's it. Uh, Are you actually having fun with ninjas, though, or is it that you can't be fucked doing anything else? I can't be fucked doing anything else. I think that's probably why you feel so stagnant. I think you need to push yourself and build something new. That what involves me cleaning my table, and then... So there's other issues at play. Not really, but really. I just don't have time anymore to do much anymore. So this is where we're at. It's just a case of I have ninjas built, I take ninjas to locals. And you have a miserable time. I have a miserable time. I just don't like... Board breakers, but where where is now the time when I'm going to raise this discussion? Okay, so random brain tangent that I had today. Um, so we spent so long playing Yu-Gi-Oh where every deck just produced a generic negate or was predisposed to board wipes that they all just came back to three from being banned. Yeah, and now we're sitting in a weird format where. Dex can just play every board wipe and then their engine. And then, for example, I'm playing ninjas, which loses quite hard to board wipes. Especially two board wipes. Uh, and I'm just losing every game. My my game one, my, well, my round three game one today was... Uh, game one gets uh, Dark Hole Lightning Stormed. And I was like... Game two, I got Dark Hole. Still had enough on board to make do. Because I could, like, Book of Moon my opponent's card and then use the thing that tributes a face down to be like, mm, cool, off to the races I go. And then game three, I got Dark Hole again. And I was just like, yeah, cool. It's just. Ninjas need a return of Dragon Lords. It's just. I, yeah, we're just in a weird part of Yu Gi Oh! now where just blowout cards are fucking huge. It's like, okay, this is big. And I don't like that. Is it the reoccurring element as well? Like, I'm trying to remember just before tier format. Uh, Sword Soul didn't really care about the board wipes because they had the... They had the Baron. Yeah. And, and so the, yeah, so either the negates or just yeah. tiers recursion of, oh, okay, you wiped, I'll just Yeah, we had this, this discussion. It's like Sprite had the Omni Negate. Yeah. Like, uh, Sword Soul had the Omni Negate. Of course, you'd have to play and bait the Omni Negate for them to be able to then use the board wipe. But, like, branded... You could board wipe them, yes, but one card rebuilt their entire board. So, like, you, yeah. you wipe their monsters. Not only does the big guy trigger so that in end phase, Oyoshi gets wiped, but they also have the branded in red to then bring it back and be like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off we go. I now have a Bernie Dragon and my Mirror Jade's back and it's going to banish something else. And, and then Adventurer's around before that. Then your shit gets the gone. Yep. Adventure had a negate. 
Um, that got shit into like every deck. Or you were so like we've we've spent so long playing where board wipes just didn't matter. And we're now in a format where board mats board wipes matter, and I'm like, huh. Playing rogue sucks when like every fucking deck is just playing a fuckload of board wipes that you ought to lose to. So cool. This isn't pleasant. And that was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. I played a Master Duel again, Monday oh, nights. Wait, sorry. Tangent point that I forgot to mention, but I remember, I thought of, but I didn't say. Yeah, we're playing for so long where you would either have a negate or skip your opponent's turn. So, like, you'd end on Scythe, oh, skip your yeah. opponent's turn. Yeah. You'd bury statue, skip your opponent's turn. You'd do this, do that. But, yeah, that's that's my point. Yep, continue. Um, yeah, just played on that. Be a ladder. Still climbing. Uh, whoa, had a horrendous time with Rikas. I hate them. No, and the, let's watch the Rikas element was the Aramage cards which I refuse to read yeah he has no idea what Jasmine does no good card really good card couldn't tell you it's a good card I'll take your word for it I've even played it now no. someone's a plant from deck does it yeah I couldn't summon a plant from deck I wonder why because he got a points yeah 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 Brag. yeah I <laughs> was on stream with him trying to coach him through the Rika solo mode um, do you think he listened to anything that I said no Not well also the problem is, so there's, there's, there's there's multiple problems here yeah A I'm doing this because it makes Jake a little angry B it's after work I've had a couple of drinks it's a Monday Mondays are usually my loosest day I know that comes as a surprise that's why I don't hang around the house on a Monday well I get loose because I know none of them are here yeah <laughs> what what are, you, what are you doing to these people that they flee the house? Well, no, he always bailed on Mondays. I'm always not here on a Monday. And then Seb started bailing on Mondays. And so yeah, then, and, and that's also I the convenient the time where I choose to stream, where our bandwidth is uh, adequate. <laughs> uh, and then also uh, the, the stream delay as well. His instructions come after I've just gone... Yeah, and usually that's not a problem. So I, under I don't understand... Why, in the thing where you need instruction, well, not need instruction, but request instruction in order to help you are suddenly rushing through your plays. Whereas every other time, it's like, hmm. Hmm. Is there a timer in solo mode? No. Ah. So, good. so in the freest time period of Bragg's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, he rushes through plays, and I'm like, do this. No, no, do that, that. <laughs> Yeah, no, no debates here. No debates here. Um, otherwise, what else do we do that one? Oh, because the trial had ended because... Yeah, yeah, we're going to do the uh, dual trial for the Highlander stuff. But they, it already finished. Yeah, they all end section, anyway. just before. And it's the same with this weekend's one as well, which we'll get to. Oh, maybe not. It only came live, like, yesterday. So you might be okay. But we'll double check. We'll double check. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I'm completely out of the cardboard game at the moment. Well, not completely. Like, yeah, like you saying you're playing ninjas. I had no bloody idea. I thought you still would have been on the fire, the fire hydrant. Nah, I've been playing ninjas. Um, I thought not on high fire hydrant. Um, macrocosmos. Yeah. What about? Oh, uh, like yeah, the, and the, macrocosmos. The chaos monster to summon on legs. Yeah. What did I open that? It's also um, yeah, it's just yeah, it's impossible to out. Okay. It's, it's his be real. Um, oh right. What were you when Bragg did that be real? Follow your Bragg on be real. Yeah. Link in the um, description. It's probably Bragg here. Uh, yeah. So completely out of that, like I probably wouldn't mind getting back in with cash and just doing trades with board wipes and stuff or whatever. But it's just gotta. I've just gotta find the right time. The time is never. Yeah. What do you mean? Do not play cash. Not? Jake's having a really unfun time in the format. You don't respect me anyway. I do. <laughs> um because i don't i don't mind mind it i don't mind it. i mean as i said last week i don't mind the yeah you set up um arise heart and that's it i'm not into the zone locking stuff but yeah this arise heart for three material control yeah. the game state yeah let's play some old-fashioned Yu Gi Oh. yeah that's probably where i'm going to come back in but also i'm just gonna find the time and effort Master Duel it is. Master Duel it is. Except, yeah, I played Master Duel for a little bit. 
I don't like Sprite. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're not you, totally awesome. It's just. I was gonna say you only don't like it because it <laughs> doesn't have Toad. Yeah, without totally awesome, it's not. Like, let's that. disregard the fact that Sprite and Runic Sprite are the best decks in that format currently. You're just like, mm, no Toad. But like, so it's a different flavor of negate. I, I get you, but it takes so long, and that's what not what you want. Yeah, like Runic Sprite requires you to sit down and play for like a half an hour for one game. Yeah. I ain't fucking doing that on a game I'm playing in my spare time on my phone. I don't want to play half-hour games. I mean, no one said you had to play the Runic version. You can just play normal Sprite. Yeah, but I did that. It's not very good. The Runic <laughs> version is significantly better. Yeah. The Live Twin version is better than the regular version. Ooh, big call. I don't respect Live Twin, so I ain't playing it. That is the correct opinion to have. Oh, it's just... It does a little bit. Yeah. It does a little bit. Just a cute little bit. A little bit extra. Any deck that if my opponent is playing just that deck and I can beat them easily playing probably whatever the fuck I want, I don't respect that deck. I ain't playing that but deck. But in addition to. Yeah, but if you brick and you only open that engine, you've lost. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. How about you, Jagger? Um, I've been playing some Master Duel 2. Um, I'm keen for something else to come out to grab my attention because, yeah, still just playing branded with the occasional Sword Soul game chucked in so that I can hit my daily target of some synchro summon. Oh, wow. I say, I wonder what he's waiting for. Um, what if we get cashed here at the same time? <laughs> no, we won't get the all of cashed here. If anything, you'll what get fed. No, we no we'll get fed. We'll, there's no way. No, because the other stuff will be like four months away. No, but like... At what point have they ever brought an entire archetype? Or do you think they delay tier till no, then? No, no, so you know how we get like the... How they kind of fucked it when around when Runic came out? That now we get like two of the current set and one of the next set? Hmm. What if we get the two remaining decks from the current set and then we get cash as the next set card? Doubt. But what if we do? Isn't the next set card usually a Jewel's pack one? Yeah. So... But it will be something from our battles of legend. Me, Kanko. Actually, I, uh, I don't want to play Libra Mink. Yeah, it, w it would be one of those three decks. So it'd be Makanko, Melfi, or thing, or whatever we got in battles of legend. Melfi with the current layout of um the shufflers will be cute. But you'll also be getting it at the same time as two elements, so it's irrelevant. Yep. That rhymes. Bars just barely <laughs> irrelevant to relevant bars um yeah so hopefully something new will come out there um did play the Riga solo mode um the wait did i mention that last week i don't think i did um so my biggest problem with the Riga solo mode was uh in one of them the uh cpu was using uh the uh black rose support mm. and they just activated black rose garden and kept summoning tokens and halving my attack so the game took forever and it has no spell and trap removal i couldn't get rid of the field spell i was gonna say they also probably don't give you link monsters to use those tokens with oh no you do oh, you got okay. links and stuff like the in fairness the decks were built fairly well usually when that's a surprise well that's the thing in yeah. the early days like if you looked at like some of those decks you're just like who the fuck which idiot put this together these ones are a bit more competent and i think it's purely because like they want to integrate the new cards and they couldn't possibly fuck this up yeah. like because the new cards are just infinitely better but yeah like that was the only one that actually gave me a legitimate issue um i feel like this elbow is going to do mm -hmm. some action whereas my left left arm's doing nothing. that's how the band-aid got there yeah he He's was doing swinger. some action yeah he was like yeah, I was doing the one-sided funky chicken, apparently. He was. Um, it's a good and then, yeah, current format, I'm just, like, stuck. Yeah. I don't like anything. But he likes the next thing. So Do we I? wait. What's the next thing? Dinosaurs! Oh, not Yay! a fucking chance. I would die. I would die before I play fucking dinos. I don't care if it's T-Zero. I do not give a fuck. Jake just doesn't want to be a dino dude. Yeah. Not at all. We've I'm... all been dino dudes at, well, at some point. Has Bragg ever been a dino dude? You would have been in dino rabbit format. But oh. even then, it wasn't really dino. Um. Dino shit, in dino rabbit, did I play... I mean, I had dino rabbit. Whether I played it or not is another question. Owning it's enough. Yeah. I played dino at YCS. 
Ugh. I day two to YCS. You can also play Trapping Zodiac or YCS. Like, it's hardly a remark. I like, day two to YCS means... with Trapping Zodiac. <laughs> but yeah, current format, I don't like it. I do not like Cash. The fact that it can play Board Breakers and then rebuild off of one card is obnoxious. Yeah, both, uh, both existing is just like, fuck. Yeah. The... The very fact that those decks have now all pivoted to just playing three birth is absurd. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, like, a few of the early lists with one, I'm like, Thank you. but it's free, like, who cares? If they're... you click on birth, that means you have another birth, and therefore, winning. Yeah, their logic was always like, it's fine, you just search off the unicorn, it's like, well, everyone now just hand traps the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> you now have to play three birth. And now here we are. I hate it. So um, free. so yeah, um, do not like cash, um... Do not like Labyrinth either, because <laughs> I or like trap trick. I don't. I've never liked trap. Trap trick. Trap decks are not not a jack deck. Nope. Never I like trap never decks, but there's just something about Labyrinth that's just too meh. I would just much rather play literally anything else. It's a deck that I don't respect because when it had very little support, people overhyped it, and it's fucking sucked. Yeah. And now that it's got more support. It's genuinely a good deck, but. I just don't respect it. See, here's the thought pattern. Do you reckon it was always getting more support and people just kind of vibed with the deck no, because they're it's like, um, when fucking nonsense? Let people... me finish my fucking point. Yeah. So, do you reckon nonsense. it was always going to get more support yeah. and people liked it because they're nonsense? Or do you reckon. Nonsense? It's... She's old. Let me finish. And also, you're only thinking of one. There's another two bitches in there. You yeah, shut your fucking no one, You no shut one... up! Let me finish my point! Anyway. Always getting anyway, support. Anyway, but... <laughs> Always getting support, people were nonsense. Or was it the fact that people nonced on it so hard that they're like, oh, let's give it more? Knock, knock. Call me, call me. Um, no, I, I reckon Konami printed boobs on a card and was like, we're going to print this again? They always do it. They'll always print three decks in doors packs and the one that has boobs gets support. I'm right. Name the other two decks that came out in the set with uh, Dragon Maid. Uh, Infinitrap. <laughs> Which got how much support? They got one more. They got. They yeah. got. They got one more card. Yeah, and got another one coming. Oh. Oh. Intriguing. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? You might get me on this one. I can't remember what it was. I. It probably. Oh, Witchcrafter. Yeah, it had boobs on it, so I got more support. Ah, so in sets that have double boobs. Yeah, the double boob set. Mm. They're not nonsense. Everyone likes the main one, Labyrinth Labyrinth. Does anyone even play Labyrinth Labyrinth? No. I swear they just play the new one. Yeah. Because uh, it's infinitely better. You play like one or the other one, I think. So when you're in like a win more position, you summon the other one that gives you like max protection. And here's the thing that makes them nonsense they don't play the dude. Everyone forgets that deck has a dude and no one plays it. There's also a little lantern. And a clock. Yeah, all the other spooky things in the house. It, It's an okay concept. It's just very altergeisty to me, and I'd never liked that deck either. I'm a paleo eldritch man. Oh, uh, yeah. I think it was Jesse who said play altergeist. No. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have altergeist. I just don't like altergeist. This is something different. What's the difference between... My brain can never comprehend protocol. If I'm using it? it or if it's against me, my brain can never comprehend protocol. I just don't like them. For a man that has such an exceptional brain, yours <laughs> does That's seem... the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Jake. I'm not finished. Um, it does seem to just turn off at random points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'd be like, oh, I have no idea what this deck does. It's been in the format for several weeks and I don't know what it is. Like, I could ask you what any Dryatron card does and you wouldn't be able to explain it I'd never it to be me. able to tell you. Um, yeah. There was another one a couple of weeks ago. Um, I kind of know what the Xyz does in Dryatron. Don't know what any other, other actual monsters do. That's fair. They also all look the same, so my opponent could just oh, keep yeah. using the same ones and I'd just be like, yeah, no problem. This does a different thing? Oh, it looks like the other one, but go on. Yeah, they just say yeah, they just say the name of the other one while playing the same one. Yeah, I just go with it. Never um, brick. You can never brick. Yeah, and Trap Tricks is like cringe as fuck. I actually Why, hate though? it. Trap Tricks actually seems kind of good. Yeah, I like Trap Tricks, but they suck. The fact that any normal summon gets you to Sarah, then you can set some back row, do some other things. I've never liked Sarah to begin with. That card is far too good. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a really good card for yeah. Link 1. It's fucking absurd for Link 1. But 
And to enable a trap deck of all things, I'm not about it. Ah, it's okay. Like, Paleo's a trap deck. It's still got a Link 2. It's fucking terrible, too. Yes. That card is really bad. Should have made it a Link 1. That card, even if it was a Link 1, would be historically bad. Yeah. Would it? Because it's a Link monster, so your Paleo gets banished. Yeah, it doesn't okay. actively do anything. Give him a one material XE monster. Yes. Give him a Zodiac. Give him a zoo card. A one material XE that pops. Quick effect. <laughs> you just want Dryden. Yeah, give him Paleo Dryden. <laughs> why not? I mean, I can think of several reasons why not. If, if that card specifically required a Paleozoic monster, I don't think anyone would really bat an eye. Wild Toad's legal? No, they would totally say they trap card. Would. They would say if there's a trap card in your monster's own. A level two trap card specifically. Oh, they'll just say it's generic and then just that Yeah, and then and then trap check would just become better because yeah. they get a free dryden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm really not vibing with anything in the current format. So it might be time to just fuck around, see because I'm losing with most things anyway. I'll just fucking play Join anything club, and nothing will matter. Join the club, it's fucking oh, did you get an OTS back today then? Yes. We got OTS twenty. But doesn't only top four get it? There's no, not everyone many people gets there. And yeah, there was only six people. Right. So it's yeah, they like they have enough supply for eight people per eight packs per tournament. Wow. Yeah. See no, actually I won't get into that. Anyway, um yeah. That's a song for another time. Correct. Uh so yeah. Uh, I learned the banjo. So, Master Duel, uh, we've had some things happen. I'm just trying to find the right link to tell me. Which Random things life thoughtable of Ben. If you can send me a banjo, anyone watching this, I'll learn how to play it. Just so we can write a song about OTS pack distribution. I want to cover a song from Hamilton that has a banjo in it. Anywho, Master Duel. I can get a straw hat to go with my banjo. Yeah. Overalls. Yeah. So, uh, in Master Duel, we have a new selection pack. It wasn't tier, unfortunately. Uh, but it, was, <laughs> it was tier adjacent. Uh, it had the G Golems, and it had the uh, Ishizu cards. Woo! I won't make the joke that I was thinking of. Oh, so that means we can play... Um, We can play... Oh, well, we can't play Pearlies yet. Hopefully we get Pearlies before. Oh, my God. Bang! Um, Pearlies. Is there anything else as um, the issues you guys Oh, and the with? new Gemnite stuff is uh, in there I too. said Melfi before instead of Pearly. I meant to say Pearly. Um, yeah, I was... The entire time you were saying that, I was thinking, why is he talking about Melfi? <laughs> They're the same thing. Change my mind. One's a... One's a fairy and the other's a tri-type. Anyone can be a tri-type, Jake. What else can we put the Shizu um, stuff in before Tier gets here to uh, fully see. to fully take advantage? See, this is one thing that's also turning me off. Uh, branded on Master Duel is uh, Runic Sprite has started playing the Shufflers specifically. Yeah, that's so, pretty fair. Because it fucks up branded. Yeah, <laughs> we can't brand it in red because they're just like. Whoop! It's not the worst in the mirror either. Yeah, but getting them in the grave in the mirror is the problem. Bestials. They don't exist yet. That's what's going to be in the next set. We'll make it. It makes sense if Tier Element and Bissiel came out in the same thing. Yes. Which would mean hopefully they don't feel the need to nerf Tier on entry like they have yeah. with other, every other thing. Like, they've already nerfed the fucking um, Ishizu cards. They should just release it with Kikawa's pen. I really hope they don't. Just see what happens. Oh, they'd have to give us Rook then already. Is that rolling, sir? Are we still rolling on camera? Yeah. Director Man? Okay, we're still rolling. Um, but that means we would need to get Rook right away. Yeah, they would need to give us, like, every tier card. Oh my god, cash is so far away. It's so far away. Because this is still Power of the Element stuff. Yes. Oh my god. And the other thing is, too... Like, I mean, as in the good cash, not the unicorn of them. Yes. And, like, they... It depends on how they feel about it, but, like, being that the OCG really loved Branded, and they seem to have been wanting to keep Branded in Master Duel so that people can keep playing Branded... They may have the same policy with tier element and just keep tier element viable for as long as possible. Like, it doesn't have to be tier zero in there. They could nerf it a bit, but I feel like they'll just start putting things to two and making it less consistent, even though in tier element it doesn't matter. What was in Darkwing Blast? Uh, the Black Wings, the tier elements, the Bestials. It was only like Rook. Hmm? It was only Rook. And all the spells and traps. Yeah, hard beating stuff. Well, not all the spell and trap. Actually, it was predominantly spells. 
I'm gonna be real, I forgot Darkwing Blast existed. I don't know how. It was quite a big set. It was, but it wasn't that big. Was it not? Like, it gave us Bizdios and some Terrell Element cards. But people hype it as, like, one of these, like... And cash. Top ten sets of all time. Like, Unicorn Fenrir. Yeah. Not the rest of it. And Shangri-Ra and Birth. Yeah, maybe it was a problem. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was good. Um, yeah, so... Um, so not, not a top ten you set say Spring Jet, the best tier card? Yeah, the best tier card. True. Guaranteed. Um, but yeah, uh, so new pack has G Golem, the Shizu cards, yeah. and the Ooh, uh, new Gem Knight support. Yeah, it's not that good. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's not good for what you want it's to do. It's fine with support. It. Actually, I'm going to play it. You know what? Fuck it. You changed my mind, Jake. You challenged me, I'm playing it. How many games before he switches back to FTK? About three. Oh no, I'm, I'm going to make it an FTK, uh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't it prevent I'm you from doing idiot. FTK? Doesn't it stop no. you from doing damage? No. I swear there's a card that's It locks you to Gem Knights. Which is fine now, because now that we've got this support, we lost all the other stuff that you would make that weren't Gem Knights. Like Union Carrier's banned now. True. Yeah, we're Gucci. See? Um, we do have some new accessories as well. Uh, for the uh, Graveyard and Banished Surrounds, we have Twin Twisters. Twin Twisters. Yeah. It looks kind of shit, if, if I'm being real. I'm assuming that the things only populate in them once there's something in them. So that, that's kind of cool. I would think it would be cool if they got more and more shit in them as your Graven Banish got That's what I thought too. That'd be like, nice. you start with the Magical Hat, uh, then... I'll start with nothing. I don't even know what that is Cow. supposed to be. Cow. It's a pen. I think that's Horn of the Unicorn. Damn. Um, oh. And then that's the... Um, Mystical Binocular or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, um, Ancient Scope. Yeah, Ancient Scope. Look and at then the eventually... Is it... Look at the top five cards of your deck? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just look at top five. Uh, we also get a mate base, which is uh, like a catapult turtle-esque design. Sorry, just it good. looks very little like catapult turtle, if I'm but being real. But it's got the turtle shell pattern. It could be any turtle, Ben. Are all turtles hexagonal? I think so. Ancient that telescope. Ancient telescope. That's the one. Uh, we also get uh, the cuck uh, sleeves and the cuck icon. Is it just us that refer to it as cuck? Is that something that I started? Maybe. I, I just legitimately cannot remember her name. It's um, Kira. It's beyond Kira. that, though, we also have the second round of dual tryouts. Um, this time around, the decks that we get are... Um, sorry, I need to pull them up again. Uh, we get G Golem um, oh, to spam some yeah. cyber stuff. Uh, we get Crystal Beasts. Mm. Uh, and we also get uh, the Gem Knight stuff. Oh, um, can it FTK? No. I don't think it's got enough to FTK. Uh, the Crystal Beast stuff is disappointing. Not, why? Who built this fucking extra deck, yep. man? This yep. main deck is suboptimal, but it is fine. This extra deck is fucking trash. Yep. Yeah, do be like that. Actually, the um, Crystal Beast has got a really generic extra deck, and I actually kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what they're. that's the only thing they're good for, is pumping out... Um, rank fours yeah um so i did this uh on saturday uh was playing the crystal beasts and yeah they don't do a lot until they do everything mm -hmm. eh? like they're just setting up stuff in the back row searching some stuff and then all of a sudden they summon like two rainbow dragons for free make one of them into a fusion and just start belting shit out maybe let's play maybe let's play crystal beasts the locals the next little bit they can do they can they can mm -mm, a little bit they don't care if i lose a couple of cards banish face down only a couple. If, if we get through <laughs> Any two... Any more than three? I screwed Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, similar to the last one, there's not a huge amount at stake here. It's You win three, you get to open a pack for G Golems. Oh, I'm going to vomit again. Wait. <laughs> there's, there's a, is it the pack with the cash? Is it the cash? The issues your stuff as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So you could pull a kill back. Uh, but more importantly than that, though, uh, on the 15th, uh, the next Duelist Cup begins. Whoa. I can't uh, remember what was... What's good about Duelist Cup? Isn't it uh, it's entry to Worlds. Oh? Yeah. I might... May as well have a crack, right? Oh, do we know which weekend Worlds is yet? Nope. Not yet. <laughs> it better be the 19th and 20th. Uh, or it could be the 2nd and 3rd. 2nd and 3rd, I can cop. What's happening? The other one. The Pokemon Worlds is in the Pokemon middle. One. 
So Pokemon, Pokemon locked in before Yu-Gi-Oh, which is absolutely insane. That's never happened before. It's always Yu-Gi-Oh has been. Pokemon in first. also said subject to change. It's a good point. True, very true. Um, yeah, we also have some news that the um, stuff sort of coming after from Data Leaks. Um, we've got a structure deck coming for Guy the Dragon Champion, which is Why? hot garbage. Um, Why? <laughs> it's not deserved at uh, all. Okay, and that's thing. I, it, it, it was okay to give it its own pack. That's all right. But I don't see the market that you're selling that pack to. I It would be at least only, like, at most, 2% of players. The plebs. The plebest of plebs. Everyone else like likes the bigger stuff. Dragon Champion's like, oh, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's not but, like one of the highlight things. Like, sure, you, you've got your main ones. You've got your blue eyes, you've got your DM, you've got your red eyes. But then you go into the subpar, you go like Buster Blader, uh, Buster, fucking, and Buster Blader's cooler than Toons, fucking, fucking um, I had it in my head a second ago. Um, did I say Blockbuster already? Oh, we're talking, when we're talking all DM decks, yeah? No, no, just anime -ish sort of decks. Like you got your Harpies, you got your Heroes. Like, you've got There's... so many decks you get down the line before you arrive at fucking Dragon Champion. Why is, why are we not doing low res anime decks? We can. Yeah. We're due for another batch recording. I'm out, I'm out as of last week. Okay. Let's go to build them. Toon time. Yeah. Well, I'll... Toons is far too powerful for low res. Are you no. fucking joking? Far too powerful. I will auto beat Sky Strikers Wait, like normal. Does any of them attack on summon? Does any of the other new ones attack on summon? I don't know. I, I think the I think Black BLS Luster does. can. But if you use it... Banish if you use a banish, you can't, can't attack. It's attack. very BLS. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know if it's fair. <laughs> what? Nothing about tunes in low res is fair. What do you mean? You've never played I... low res against Seb. I did, and I destroyed him. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, alongside the structure, they are releasing the second of their deluxe mates, which is Gaia, um, effectively. Uh, so during the main phases, he is just on his trusty steed. Mm -hmm. uh, but then during the battle phase, he jumps onto Curse of Dragon. Dragon. When's Catapult Turtle come to do it, though? And is that why Catapult that Turtle base? Probably. Imagine. And then Dark <laughs> Imagine it's just a normal deluxe mate if it's just on a normal stand, but then you have it on the Catapult yeah, one and, and you click it and you just. <laughs> BOOM! <laughs> Smash the castle, 930. Pop defense. the mic, Catapult Turtle, pop the mic. That's what he do. Uh, anyway, they ride uh, a catapult turtle, didn't they? Hmm? They ride a catapult turtle. Why yes. would they have? To once a turn. Did they do that? I don't know if they've done no, that. I, think, I like, don't the think the they did that. print wasn't the most clear thing in the world. Let's have a quick look at... Catapult oh. turtle definitely seems once per turn. Once per turn? No, is it all the time? No, it is once per turn. Yeah. But they can't do that errata to any of the other bullshit oh. FTK cards. That would be ridiculous i think the og print was just fuck you on its card text so when they oh so it was meant to be but yeah that's going to be a writer column on Yu-Gi-Oh wiki the uh trivia one monster to inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack no no the, yeah. they did just get a straight writer yep yep it was it was nerfed when was catapult turtle on the ban list never no never is this oh ooh, hang on no i've gone to metal raiders um, offer one monster on your board as yeah. tribute to inflict direct damage equal to the tribute monsters attacked to your opponent's life points. Monsters used for a tribute summon or that are offered as tribute due to other okay. cards are excluded. Yeah, Metamorphosis has that text as well. It was always so trippy. Um, for the mate, for the catapult turtle mate base, the perimeter of the base is the line in the middle of catapult turtle's catapult. So, yeah. Uh, there. That's cute. The actual catapult. That's cute. I like that. I don't think it's needed. It, that, uh, that has to be the most, that, that card text or had to be the most redundant card text. Or if you can't tribute monsters that aren't on the field still. Just so we're clear. Do you, do you think back to the most, <laughs> like, the earliest memories you have of what you did in this game, and do you tell me if you feel like that text was necessary? But tribute come first. Brag. Yeah. Be honest with yourself. In your early days, were people doing ridiculous shit that should have been clear? Activating... MST negating Dark Hole? Hmm? MST negated everything in 2002. So good. Until you played the video game. And then you're like... 
<laughs> why it no do thing? Yeah, what's <laughs> game broken? Why <laughs> MST no negate? <laughs> you get World Championship 2003 on Game Boy? Yeah. What do you mean? And then your opponent sometimes, if the AI was like decided to just have a fucky walky day, uh, it would just MST your activation. <laughs> I hope they bring those to the Game Boy Advance thing on Switch. I wouldn't mind playing through a few of them again. Just a, just a quick campaign and done. Play some old shit. I considered buying a Raspberry Pi today. To yeah. Set, uh, to set up a... Sorry? A Raspberry Pi? Like the dual computers? No, me. Yeah. no I did. I, yeah. I thought you'd gone on the most ridiculous tangent and you'd be like Pudding. I felt like pastry today yeah. Pudding <laughs> doesn't fill me anymore bring me pie I require raspberry pie uh yeah Please. I would a raspberry pie with that stuff loaded is probably the way to go because my god some of the stuff that Nintendo's doing is a pretty like there's just so many games sitting on the shelf that you can emulate easy mm. that's just like if you just put it on the Switch I totally wouldn't do this but if you keep leaving it for so long like but these are all theoreticals. We would never actually do this. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Instead, we'll be dueling with friends. Yeah. Yeah. Dueling with friends. <laughs> uh, with friends I don't street. have time to duel with friends. I don't have time <laughs> to play emulated games that I. No, I own these games. Isn't it legal to emulate things if you own a physical copy of it? Yeah, I mean in Australia probably. Like yeah. Australia is like super chill with that. I physically own all these things. I just want to play them on the TV. <laughs> That's my problem with YouTube as well. Australia is more free. Like, we'll go to our rules. We can use content as much as we want. If we are parodying. We don't have covering. to accept oh, those so cookies. Disney take the piss. Yeah, yeah. If, if we, That we, is a very Australian rule. As long as you're taking the piss out of someone, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so for upcoming uh, product stuff, we have some announcements from uh, Duelist Nexus, I believe it is. Is that what? Is When's that the set called? coming out? Uh, uh, August. Towards the end of the year, yeah. Why is it not tomorrow? Because it's the it's because yeah it's a jewelers pack disgusting jewelers pack it's the it's the start it's gonna be the green pack yeah yeah uh, the jewelers packs is the, always the, the, the start one. of the new next. cycle yeah. cycle thirteen sure let's go with that uh, anyway so one of the bigger archetypes Why is it that not next week because it's not in August yet these are always in August oh see this is the Christmas thing again he doesn't realize when time happens no my brain doesn't comprehend time no it doesn't it's ascended beyond. I don't know if it's ascended beyond. Descended, maybe? It's ascended beyond the passage of time. Anyway, uh, one of the bigger archetypes that has got support so far is Infernoble. Hey. Um, got a whole bunch of monsters. I don't know what any of them do other than the Link. Um, the Link is really weird. It's a Link 1, so you'd assume it's like a lot of the other Link 1s. It starts, plays, it does the thing. Uh, this one is the damage. end of the It's the boss. Yeah. So you link uh, specifically... Infernal, Infer, yeah, Infernal Knight Emperor Charles, um, that Charles. is equipped with an equip card to make a Link one. Yeah, uh, and then it effectively just re-equips him and copies his effect. Yeah, uh, and then I'm sure it does some other stuff. Yeah, oh, so it's a can... spell and trap negate while it's on the board. Yeah, so yeah, you get to consolidate down him, and then you can find a way to bring him back. And I think with this new stuff, it kind of cheats out Charles a little bit easier than previous plays. Um, so it's just breathing in life into a deck that used to be predicated on hand rips and VFD. And so. also the Infernoble stuff was kind of the bigger, um, chase cards from the last set, like the collector's rares of, um, fucking... Yeah. Yeah. So people have gotten a taste for it again, so you may as well. It's, it's actually miraculous that they reprinted those cards, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, those actually needed to be reprinted because we're announcing shit. I don't. I. I honestly don't think that these cards had been started to be crafted in the OCG when they decided that they were going to reprint all the Infernobles. I know, because yeah, I mean the Infernoble stuff's there for bloody um, Mick. Yeah. All <laughs> firemen, also flies. Yeah. And warriors. Popular. Popularity. Um. Yeah, and a couple of the other ones as well. Like, uh, it helps with the de like, you don't go as hard loss on card advantage as you used to. You get a couple of cards back to like link away with and turn them into a negate or a, a bit more card advantage that you need. It gives them some more to work with. It's cool. Um, but obviously, I mean, as you pointed out, it doesn't have degenerate shit in it, so no one's going to play. <laughs> it's Precisely. gonna. It'll be the people that used to playing for Nova that'll pick it up, play it once, and go, "Oh, oh uh, my opponent can report. play. I don't understand." <laughs> As opposed to where it's like me going, oh, I kind of liked Inferno, but I didn't really like that play style. Oh, you're giving it more card advantage and stuff? That sounds cool to me. Oh, wait, no, that means everyone's going to hate it. 
Damn. Yeah, do kind of be like that. Um, also, within the Doors Nexus, we have yeah. uh, some dino stuff. Get excited. Two lots, yeah. Yeah. Woo! So the first lot is a evolution of the Eviolite cards. Yeah. Um, don't again, care, don't know what any of those do. Uh, the Xyz is really good. Can you get that, really Can you good. get the rank six Xyz out easier with the new support? Yes, with just with the new support, so you yep. can't. Because they can either make a single like, or if, a rank six. If I could be bothered to read any of the other stuff that got announced for Eviolite, it's I probably could tell all, you. It's probably all level mod. Let's be real. Yeah, probably. Plus, the level six is from the fucking jewels pack from the thing before. Yeah. Uh, so the level six is an omni negate. Uh, so it has to detach product. two unless it's using specifically uh, dinosaur monsters or reptiles um, as material. So that so means it one instead. So that means materials remember the type they were. Is it? It's not once per chain, is it? It's uh, just when your opponent. When your opponent activates a Carter effect. Cool. It's going. It's not once per turn. Not once per chain. Mm -hmm. If you have two dinos, you go effect negate, your opponent responds, effect negate. Mm -hmm. Also, should somewhat highlight, it's an omni negate in the same way that uh, Archfiend Abyss is an omni negate. It has to target a card on the field. Yep, so like, effect failure, can't negate it. Ash Blossom can't negate it. Yeah, so it's still very good, it's just not super busted. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's that load of support. And that's the thing, yeah. So the end that like that that support is okay in a vacuum, but coming off the back of whatever the jewels pack's going to do is kind of concerning, giving them an omni negate. But cool. also within Duelist Nexus is the Dino support for Rex Raptor. These are worse. Yes. Yeah, these are worse. It's but actually the, a free summoning level six though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's a free summoning level six and the continue and the continuous spell that is okay. Yeah, so um, it's all sort of centred around uh, Twin-Headed King Rex uh, retrains, effectively. Um, yeah, none of them are amazing, although they do get a new evolution pill. The new evo pill's not that bad. No. Like, it might be a cute one of, it might be useless. I hate evo pills. Double evolution pill. Yeah. Evolution pill. Ultimate evolution pill. Although this one, Transfer again, seems pill. to do it kind of for free, and you can just summon Pank. This is correct. Uh, yeah, so I'm not super keen for dinos to be good. Dinos! Yay! Um, I can't wait. After a while, we finally have, uh, from, I don't know what that side set's called, but uh, where the um, Hungry Burger oh, and yep, yep. the other Hungry, archetype. Dino, and... Oh, and yeah, the original dino stuff that came out. The third one is now announced. Oh, okay, yeah, I was, I was struggling to think of yeah, the Yeah, I could see you struggling. You're like, what's the third one? Don't worry, I'm here to tell you. It is Vanquish Soul, VS. Um, oh, these are these are cute, but... Oh. They're kind of odd. Yeah. Um, they kind of remind me... I think what they've tried to base it on is like a fighting game. Yep, yep. Because that's what it seems like. Yeah, I mean, it literally has verses in the names. Well, yeah. In English, yeah. Well, VS is just meant to be Vanquish Souls. Yes, yeah, but it's also just as VS, so it's like... All, yeah, it's, all... um, it's sort of column based and also like oh. type and attribute based in hand, like it reveals stuff in hand in order to do different things. These are all the Jake things, you... but this is when still a gimmick. Types in hand to do stuff when you're using Alistair. I don't reveal anything in hand for Alistair. If <laughs> you, I'm using you hand reveal, material, you reveal a hand trap that goes to grave, <laughs> then you normal summon Alistair. Or the card I haven't done that in so him. long, not even on Master Duel. It's been so long. Alistair's sitting in my folder collecting dust. Good. Yeah, it is good. When Jake starts sleeving up his invoke deck, he's gonna have the bluest boss. <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna finally go for some of this other stuff. Purplest boss? Yes. Um, but yeah, most of the uh, play starters for this deck seem to be Beast Warriors, so um, yeah. Tanky is sort of free. And Tanky's in the, in the pack as well. Yes. Yes, announced for a reprint. Um, and yeah, they also get a Link 1, because, you know, we're just giving every deck a Link 1 at the moment. Why not? Yes. Fuck it. Uh, this one is not amazing. Uh, summons one from the hand uh, or add a vanquished soul from your graveyard. Um, and then while it's on the board, you have to attack the thing that has the highest attack. Yeah. Which you or good. they? They. Okay. Uh, which is good because it has zero. I was like, and that's <laughs> an interesting restriction to put on the link one. It's like, if you link summon this card, you have to attack your opponent's biggest monster. Not that attacking is really relevant right i want attacking to be relevant we've had this talk 
Final anyway, phase is relevant. This, this thing, these cards should be good. They look okay. It'll be interesting but to see how they all play out. They should be good, but they're not. Because of cash. Pretty much. That's right. By the time these come around, cash might have been nerfed by then. Uh, cash will be gone by then. We're not getting these cards for like three months. At the it's very least. It's going to be a while. Uh, but also within that so, pack... Wait, so Dinosaur's first batch of support hasn't been released in the OTG yet? No, uh, it's mm. it's soon. Like yeah, it'd be it's, very it's soon, like it's like yet. this week or some shit. The OCG ban list came out tomorrow. It wasn't it the other day. I haven't seen an OCG ban list. OCG ban list hasn't come out yet. Oh, I thought it was March first. Uh, oh time, no, it's April first. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Time so we're recording, it came out tomorrow. Gotcha. So I mean, that'll be um. Oh, the dates, the dates check out. I'm taking a guess here, Jake. So what do they need to Just rain in? You've taken guesses and you've been wrong. Uh, do they do a kill shot to cash to try and get these dinos moving? I uh, I think well, given that it's uh, to relevant, really... which is still the best deck, I think they murder the last of to relevant. Like as in like I think King of the Swamp gone, Rook gone. <laughs> fuck I it. think they fucking murder. Merle to one. It's time. Sharon ban. Kill it. They kind of need to yep, at this point. It has to die. They need to ban everything. It better be a bloodbath. Uh, but yeah, um, speaking of the pack that Vanquish Hall comes in, uh, the burgers get uh, another card, um, which oh, is yeah. basically it's pre-prep, but archetype-specific. Maybe I should have made burgers for dinner tonight. Hungry burger. There's, there's still time. No, he's already defrosting the yeah, chicken. I'm already defrosting some chicken. Um, but yeah, basically, depending on... You know, like, you take two of the monsters from deck and your opponent picks one for you to have, and then, depending on which one you get to have from your deck or grave, you get to add the corresponding ritual spell. Okay. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's alright. Um, but yeah, that is most of the new stuff. Uh, this sort of... pack comes out in June for us. June? Oh, just before Worlds. Well, we won't have the rank 6 and 8 before then. No. no, no, you will not. And OCG, it comes out this week. Ooh, exciting. Uh, we also have a retrain of an old card that everyone was very excited for when it got uh, sort of oh, art yeah. leaked. Yeah. Terminal Offering, which absolutely will not be called that in the TCG. Um, but basically, uh, during your main phase, you can pay a thousand to normal summon three times. Uh, or during your opponent's battle phase, you can pay 500 to normal summon one. You could. Normal summon Robin up in your opponent's battle phase. That's a fun time. You're right, because Slunder really struggled doing that already. During your opponent's battle phase, Jake. Yeah. Battle phase. But the what battle does it achieve in the battle phase? They've gone to battle phase to out your cards. They've gone battle phase to attack over your barrier statue. <laughs> that you don't have. <laughs> Wait, punch me in the gut there, Jake. Yeah, well, get used to it. Uh, was a threat. Yeah, not a particularly amazing card, but people are obviously excited for it because they're stupid. Um, Jake, ultimate offering is banned. This card is just slightly worse. Then what if, like, if this is worse yep. and it's not going to affect anything, just bring yep. back ultimate offering. No, ultimate offering is too good. Is it? Is it? How? Uh, Explain to me how. Oh, I guess good, but ultimate is it too good? offering plus any gadget in the current mm. game mm -hmm. would be fucking absurd. Yeah, uh, but you have to resolve the activate trap first or else... Yeah. It's just too slow. It's game over on turn three. Yeah, sure. And you can also just like chump block the fuck out of your opponent on turn two. Not if I summon Purgatrio. Maybe he's back to, he's back to him. If he summons Purgatrio, it's game. Yeah, I don't know. I, I get... I get the power there, but also then that means you have to run fucking 20 gadgets in your deck. Well, no, that's not the math, it's 18. You could run gold gadget and silver uh, gadget. Just a 9. Just a 9. I don't know if they play gold and silver in that situation. Sorry, 15. Why not? When Is they die, one? you get to float. Platinum? Platinum's Platinum. in the extra deck. Plat yeah, Platinum's the extra deck one. So they only have 5 gadgets at the moment. We're getting a 6 eventually. We have 6, but one's extra deck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We need Inspector gadget. We need blue gadget. Purple gadget. Orange gadget. Yeah, purple gadget is a fusion. <laughs> I really hope that Seb's voice got picked up there. Orange gadget could be an effect monster. <gasps> My goodness. They're all effect monsters. No, that just blue adds... gadget could be a ritual. <gasps> yes. 
I tell you what, rituals with gadgets would be pretty cool because it's just free. What about Cybus gadget? Fuck that the card. And ancient gear gadget. I didn't forget about Cybus gadget. That card's sick. It is a good card for anyway. Plus anyway, we're gadgets. getting way too deep into gadgets here. Uh, we will be moving on to podcast questions. Um, uh, this. Yep. Go from here. If you weren't aware, say the line. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link. Will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Now, what would you like to uh, say? Go down to the Discord and submit your best gadget law. It can be completely made up and doesn't oh have God. to actually be gadget law. But I want to see your gadget law. Also, if you mix it in with Albaz, he's gonna vomit. No, no. If you mix it in, well, maybe. <laughs> if you mix it in with uh, G Golem, I might vomit. G Golem. Uh, so, our first question this week comes to us from 6 out 6 99% of Yu-Gi-Oh players don't know what the G Golem actually is. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you sitting on that? That's, A while. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 6 out 6 question is, why do most people shuffle into 8 piles? Why do 7? Why well, do 9? No, I do out of 8. Or 10. Really, it's whatever catches my fancy that day. Hmm. I typically do four because, like, I th I think where it stemmed from is because there used to be, like, that methodology where you just play 40 cards and eight's divisible by four. Yeah. You get enough sort of piles that it gets shuffled in nicely. Yeah. yeah. If I'm playing 45 cards, <laughs> I, f I play nine. <laughs> I do nine piles in 45 card decks. Yeah. Yep. So if you see Ben doing this, he's trying to work out how many cards he has to shuffle yeah, to yeah, work yeah, out yeah, how yeah. many piles. I was just on my nine times tables. <laughs> Uh, Did you guys know that you could do nine times tables with your fingers? Can you not do most type table with your no, fingers? No, 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 Jake. You can literally just do nine times table with your fingers. Education time with Ben. So if I want to do uh, Those nine times... two statements nine, conflict with each other. Nine times five, I put down my fifth finger, and it's 45. Until you go above ten. Yeah, until you go above ten. Above 10. Or you just remember them. Yeah, there no, is that. No, no. <laughs> I've never had to remember them because my hands are right here. If I ever lose a hand, I will not be able to do my nine times tables ever again. Uh No, fuck the times tables thing is completely thrown off the point I had. Look, but yeah, I think it just stems from the fact that um, Piles, people yeah. used to play forty cards, so that was just a nice divisible number. Now people are doing all kinds of weird shit. I did, I did. I, I used to do eight piles way back in the day. A magic guy was sitting next to me. Like this is fucking 2010 so like times. Um, and went, oh, eight, in eight piles, oh, you can, you can probably read, like, that's, that's what, um, people that read their decks do. I'm like, oh, I'll just do seven. <laughs> so, based I on the had... advice of a magic player, you changed how you... No, I just switched to seven, because I, he was trying to get me to stop pile shuffling at all. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just do seven. Magic players hate Yeah, pile magic pile players pile. hate fucking pile shufflers. Because people use it to stack seven. Stack map. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah, alright, yeah. everyone hates magic players. Yeah, it's like a really fucking touchy subject. In the one in Magic tournament I ever played, I pile shuffled. Like, round one, game one, I pile shuffled. And my opponent was like, you can't do that. And I was like, why? Would you rather me not shuffle my deck and give it to you? No? Especially okay. in EDH, the decks are too big. Oh, uh, this was like regular Magic. Yeah, yeah. This but... was like the one standard tournament I ever attended. Everyone, they were idiots. Like, because CC card decks, you start getting a bit hard to shuffle especially in Pokemon and then like you see Pokemon players where instead of orderly shuffling their cards they're just like <laughs> yeah like it's well, like I'd rather just do the piles and so just keep it and just cut my opponent's deck a lot of magic players do the whole like yeah yeah I, oh, I yeah, hate that's, that yeah, so I hate it like so much crawl. and then when they do it to yours like yeah I had a guy mm, at OCIC do a couple years ago with Pokemon just go I'm like don't do that Please don't do that with my cards. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm never, I'm never taking good Pokemon cards to this tournament ever so again. This is the thing they can, they can like demand. I don't know if they can demand. It may just be them bitching, but they'll go like, oh, you can't do that. But like, yeah. they'll fucking like the marky cards. Yep. Mark bend, just generally wreck. Generally, be magic players. Yeah, they're not good people. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, a good group. there's like 10% of magic players are nice. Yeah. yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. But like, if you just did a quick one-two, like a one-two shuffle, and then pile, there's no way that evens. That is, there's no way to go against like, that. I completely understand if you were to 
put your cards into a pile of eight then stack them all up on top of each other and present deck. Yeah. That is stacking your deck. Yeah, 100%. There is no negotiation. But no, you go bang, 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 bang. That is stacking you, your deck. You do, you put the, then you put the two piles, quickly shuffle those, then you, you, you just yeah. do it, and you do it differently every time. Yes, yes, it's, yes, yes, It's yes. not rocket science. Yeah. If you're doing like eight, put them all in a stack, hand it to your opponent, that is stacking your deck. 100%. Yeah. That is not randomizing your deck. Yeah. So I strongly dislike people that are like, no, 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 you can't do that. It's like, but I'm, going, the point. I'm going to continue shuffling after this. This is simply an introductory scramble my deck from the last game. Yeah. Yeah. Magic people suck. Next question comes to us from Jesse. Uh, with so many people having their WCK invites, does CVG support gatekeeping invites or will uh, be memeing states and regionals? Yeah. No, no, they're definitely gatekeeping invites. No, no. No, he's a Dewey. Um, oh, me? I don't give a fuck. I couldn't be bothered, honestly. The, basically, there's two things. One, I don't get to that many regionals. Most of them are on Saturday, so I can't go. B, I'm not good enough a player to be like, haha, I'm going to stop you from getting an invite. That's simply not where I am in this format. Maybe last format, not this one. It has been a detraction from going to the States this time around that with no pass downs and knowing that, well, I'm going to say the top 200 players in the country have their qualification and that they will most likely be the top 200 there's no there's going to be no spare invites flicking around except for someone that tries like tries hard like as in so yeah since i hadn't participated in the previous ones i'm like oh i'm kind of i'm kind of fucked here a bit unless Wollongong gets one was the map floating around today no no ots was with today yeah heaps of them are on today so i feel this is the thing I'm, I brought up as well in the Discord. It feels really weird that for, like, maybe two weeks beforehand, they just decided to give every fucking store other than ours, conceivably, a uh, OTS championship all on the same weekend. Look, I, look, I don't think that's 100% a reflection of Konami. That could just be a reflection of the current situation of our store. Mm. Oh, not so much that we didn't get one. Yeah. More the fact that everyone had theirs on the same weekend. Like, seemingly, they're like, you can host an OTS, but it has to be one of these two dates. Yes. And that is it. Yes. Even stores that are, like, a kilometre or two apart. Yes. I feel like, because it's a seasonal thing as well, this is the season of, I've forgotten, the February pack. Um... Uh... Rolling Thunder. It's literally the last pack. I can't remember what it's called. Cash pack. Cash pack, cash pack. Yeah. Photon Hub Nova. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, so... It's right there, Jake. It feels a bit too early to be running the, the OTS championships for the season as well. Like, we're only eight weeks in. Or eight weeks in. The other one, six weeks in. It also feels too early to have it ended in one weekend. <laughs> Well, that's, thing, but that's, I, that's it. But I mean, I do like the approach of, hey, it's all the same weekend for all the OTSs. That means it's just, it's purely a, ch a store championship. You are the champion of your store, yeah. not going around and where your store champion comes from fucking a different state. That's kind of a bit weird. I, I like them being on the same weekend, but then they have to synchronize it being on the same weekend. Yeah, they're showing up getting on the mind. More and more aggressive, isn't it? It is very violent. Yeah, it's getting quite windy. So, yeah. to continue. Man, I'm really surprised that like, oh, oh, the lighting, the, oh, the lighting, <laughs> it's the everything, lighting's everything's changing. <laughs> oh no! I just, I just, yeah, I noticed on Jake's face when that blew it open. We're I gonna. Saw lights the lighting's probably gotten a bit fucky for a little so, bit. Here. Apologies for the lighting. Yep. Uh, stalling. Um, yeah, no, I don't mind the fact of having every OTS championship on the same weekend. Like, it, it does... It does allow for poorer players of quality of play to have a good weekend at Locals and get their invite. It effectively prevents gatekeeping as well. Because, yes. like, to an extent, like, your bigger stores where a lot of the bigger players are playing, they're still going to be just taking all the top spots. But yes. they can't be in multiple places. So yeah, exactly. They can't make those trips and, and get all those regional tops and and so on. And, and that's so how we end up with uh, Brandon Buster Blader having <laughs> topped an event. 
How did that happen? Uh, well, you knocked it when you were coming that way, and then when you come back, it spun around. Um, yeah, it's also yeah, it's how you end up with an event where Bowden Temnit comes first, and second place is a guy playing Brandon Buster Blade. I wonder if it's the same guy that I played against Brandon Buster Blade the last time I went to an event at that store, like, a year ago. Or whenever Brandon came out. Then. That was States, actually. Last year's States. I didn't go to States last year. I played against Brandon Buster Blade, and I was like, oh, I know how this deck works. <laughs> I won. Yay. Next question. Next question uh, comes to us from Crobat5. Damn, I thought it was going to be 6 out of 6. No. Uh, oh, yes. It has two questions, actually. Uh, so, first one. Will Speed Roads ever be a rogue deck again, or will they always be solitaire deck you can play at locals? Also, will Konami ever put Teratop to 3 again? No. no ter yeah, Teratop's never coming back to ter 3. fucking bastard. Oh, it's so. one of those cards that's oh. much better outside of its archetype than it is in it. Yeah, the fact that it's like... If you just open it, it's just free whatever the fuck you want. You can go bloop, bloop, game. Yes, I wanted it at three. For no reason. Uh, no reason at all. It's not a Makanko starter. I hope that other one ended up back in the folder. Because there was the ulti just floating around. It's, it's, last I saw it was sitting there. Yeah, it'll be around. Only, need, only need the one. This apartment is the lost apartment of ulti character. <laughs> they will just appear. Um, but yeah, more for Speedroid in general. The deck's fine. Um, it's It does its thing. It's probably better now in the format where it's not got tier element and stuff fucking with its graveyard plays. Um, but yeah, I, like it's not specifically asking if the deck will be meta, but like I'm assuming it's it'll just sort of... It's playable. It's a fine deck. Surely you can get two wins at a locals. Yeah, you can get two wins at a locals. Yeah. yeah, surely. Yeah, for the most part, like most people won't know what it's doing and for a lot of road decks that's where their win con sort of comes into play the old tldr yes. so yeah it'll do fine at locals it might do okay at like major stuff but again once you get into major stuff people start to know oh the link's busted we need to get rid of that normal summon jiraguma <laughs> uh his next question is <laughs> At your locals, do you have fun playing non-meta decks, uh, Rescue Ace, etc., because you enjoy it, or do you play meta decks to try and come first? Uh, he plays branded heroes at his locals, uh, but he wants to build and play a Via Croid deck uh, because it will be fun to play. Sunday Fun Days! We tried that once, it didn't work. Yeah, by Sunday Fun Days, me and Jake showed up with Fun Decks, and everyone else showed up with meta decks. I showed up with a Fun Deck, you showed up with a fucking FTK. <coughs> That's fun for me. Which actually kid did I play that day? I think it was Gem Knight. Yeah, that was fun. See, this, and this is where the issue of fun <laughs> comes in, yeah. is that you have my idea of fun, which is just, I want to summon some mech knights. Um, you have Ben's idea of fun, which is, I'm going to FTK you. No, my idea of fun is just fucking start throwing your hand at the board and just see what happens. Doesn't have to be is an that... FTK. It was that, wasn't it? That, that situation was, but it could also be like the YCS where I took effectively let's air quotes call it world, world chalice that was just me throwing cards at the board and trying to generate Nateria Beast Barky on uh, Arclog Christia and then like something else on top that was a fun YCS and this is where the issue of like non-meta days and like fun deck days comes in yep. is that people's perception of this stuff is wildly different from person to person should just be highly underdog and leave it at that. And I, I always hate when that conversation comes up as like someone stamps up and down is like, oh, we need to play a non-meta day. There's always going to be meta. That's the definition of meta. There's always going to be a best deck. There will always be a best deck of those days as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, in, in, yeah especially in those side formats, even all the casual fun ones, there is a better way to play and to win. And you just got to be hoping that you like, have Within the first week of speed duels, there was already speed that. duels meta. Speed duels. Yeah. Why do you say oh, it like that? No, speed duels. Because speed duels is speed duels. stupid. Um, hey. Uh, <laughs> actually, that Greg, one is kind Greg of... like speed duels until all of his speed duel collection went off the balcony. Mm, true. Yeah. Uh, that and just... It was impossible to find any of the shit. Yep. And then no one hosted tournaments for it. Because yeah. no one could get the OTS packs. 
I mean, some people did. They I mean, sold I'm, their book of moons for like three hundred dollars each. I would even done with that. Look, it's what would I do going in for fun? Of I would rather set up a second, like another format for fun, not so much try and warp the room around. Going on, like yeah, I just rather another format. If I want fun, I don't play so, traditional. <laughs> this is one thing that I advanced like constructors are on the side of magic is that like. Like, 75% of people that, like, just genuinely enjoy magic hate actual magic. <laughs> At the moment, especially. So, yeah. like, they don't play their standard format. And or they don't modern. play modern yeah. because modern is expensive as fuck and it's just a bunch of FTKs. So, like, they're all out here playing Commander. So, like, 100 card Highlander. And they're playing, like, another one a few guys have been getting into lately is Pauper, which is you can only play commons. And it's like, oh yeah, we still going to common like, charity. Yeah, I was gonna say this is like common charity. You have time wizard popping up at events, although it, it sometimes they seem to really want to back it, and other times they don't give a fuck, and that's erratic. Maybe that's also an Australia thing. Like hmm. in the US, these things work a lot better. There's a lot more of a player base, and Konami can pre ahead of time be like, we're doing this, guys, and people will be like, yeah, I'm keen. Here they say, yeah, we're doing this, guys. And half the player base goes, fuck you, I want to do the other thing. <laughs> yeah, and that's... And then I, and that's at the point where the people that say, fuck you, you should do the other thing, I kind of just went, hey, do what makes you happy as long as you just turn up for the regular locals. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But yeah, um, in terms of playing fun decks at locals, uh, I find it fun when I win. And if I'm in a room where I'm playing a deck that is good but not as powerful as everyone else's deck and no one else adheres to my we're here to play for fun it Sunday means that i lose and losing is not fun so then mm. it makes me not want to play fun days because people misunderstand what that means and ruin my good times so, i don't mind losing there is the odd locals where i like don't mind just playing something just for the pure fun of it and i don't give two shits if i win or i lose mm. But, like, for example, at the moment where I can't figure out what the fuck I want to play and I'm just, like, actively losing 95% of my games because I'm just playing decks that hard lose to everything, it's, like, this is not fun at all. Well, and this is, like, I was fine with losing up until when, like, the OTS changes. I'm pretty sure I've read that oh, out before. Yes, and yes, this thing, this like, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll gladly go in, go 1-4, I'll play all one for one trade cards and go here's my OTS yeah I paid ten dollars for an OTS yes I spend a lot of dumb money on a lot of dumb things I'll cop that and then it means someone else in the top gets a couple more packs yeah, yeah. it's all about the community but no when they cut that off and I was like oh no you just get a normal pack so I'm like yeah. oh I just paid ten dollars for a, <laughs> and a five dollar pack for a, yeah six dollar pack yeah, yeah. No, it's like oh and, uh. and here's the thing I I'm not a huge fan of that system but I understand that like that's the way that they want to run things that like each store got their box per month everywhere's actively being punished for other people's fuck around yeah and this is the thing but and i can understand why they've done that but then you still have stores that are fucking around yes. and our store only just got ots after two months and it was ots 20 yeah it's last season so like what's the point of having this system if you're still not actually delivering on the criteria that you set out yeah. a box to the store per month it's pretty hard to be. F I have fun with a, with a fun deck when Konami's just hitting you in the dick every few seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the locals where you win with the rescue ace and you're on top of the world. And then the very next locals, you're just like, it all comes why am back. I still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've peaked. I have yeah. won locals with rescue ace. Maybe that's the problem. You peaked. You want you beat Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the precise <laughs> moment that I peaked in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Uh, next question comes to us from 6 i 6 uh, Do you ever draw cards, shuffle cards, or play a card in such a way uh, to mess with your opponent? Uh, like making the card really snap when you play it. Um, oh. I tend to do that naturally. I'm not doing it out yeah. of like yeah, Jake, any... Jake has a million snap. nervous ticks when he's playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I do. All it's... of them involve doing weird shit with his cards. <laughs> yeah, most of the time it's like straightening up the deck because I like bump it or like putting the graveyard back into place. Or going... <laughs> I don't actually do that. I don't. I don't. Really? Jake. 
every fucking video that you're in. Yeah, hold on. People comment. Being no, no, like, no, that they talk about the deck in the player. graveyard. They talk about the deck no, in the no, graveyard, no, no, no. but I do not do the hand shuffle thing. Like Brandon plays hand shuffling. Oh, I don't. That make do plays hand shuffling. Oh, that Luke plays hand shuffling. Oh. Because I don't mind doing a hand shuffle to you get a different, just a different going. Oh, I didn't think of that card in after that card. I right, just a quick like, what's my lines? Okay. Yeah, I get really impatient, and I'm sitting there like, this is my interaction card for this exact point. Uh, this is my card for next turn. Uh, if you do this, then this is, I need this. Uh, yeah, and then the other situations where my hands are hot fucking garbage, and I'm shuffling through going. That shit, that shit, yeah. that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit. Did you Rick? No? Okay. Now I've got to wait 10 minutes. That shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit. No, I don't, I don't particularly do anything to... Especially not to like, off-put the opponent. I don't care. You ever play Paleo and just treat yourself like it's my Valentine? You just don't look at your five cards. You say, like, draw five, set five, pass. Didn't look at my You hand. lost me a D ever play Paleo. Yeah, it's sometimes you just take the gamble and putting a frog in your back row. <laughs> you just like the old um the old Lightning Storm, look at swap. Scoop. <laughs> the old Infernity combo. Set monster in back row. I still remember once at uh it was a narrow regional. The last time I played dinos at a regional. Um so it was that format. The yeah, it was that like really answers Zoo, a lot that you were still playing it narrow Zoo, at that Draco, point. Paleo, yeah, yeah, the tree. So on. Yeah, Litho. Um yeah, I was playing Dino that regional because i just got diagrams and i was like yeah let's go um round two one of the guys was playing Bowden, and he activated card to mice and drew like double necro valley and was like oh they're gonna hit this card anyway set him in my back row <laughs> oh dear lord <laughs> like you have to be so confident that you're not gonna get picked up because like a random twin twisters and your life is over yeah I'm fairly sure we got found out pretty quickly. It was really funny. God damn. Ah, people. Uh, again, next question is from Crabat5. Uh, with hand traps being a staple choice in most decks of this format, uh, would Debunked be a good card in one of those decks to out hand traps, or is it a garbage card? No, play Rebound instead. Uh, both of them are too slow. Yeah. I don't remember what they do. Well, they're traps. They're conti- I will... Yes. Yeah, debunks a counter trap. Like, the whole idea of hand traps is, like, if you're going second at least, you try and hinder your opponent going first. And if you're going first, a trap card is not going to help you from the hand traps that are stopping you from setting up. We need call by for the opposite of remove from play. Sorry? Need... Shuffle into deck? Yeah. Yeah, shuffle in the deck and then negate the effect. That's a more fair card somehow. Yeah, at the same time, less fair. We need more called by. Oh, just put called by to two. I mean, I like the crossouts still in our format. Yeah, crossouts just. Certainly, because Jake likes to aggress- aggressively throw down the crossout when I he do. gets Ash Blossomed. I do. If Jake gets Ash Blossomed, he's like, here's my crossout. Call Ash Blossom. I do get very happy when I have the crossout because Literally- Branded lives and dies by Branded Fusion. How many actually them? Uh, two in the main, one on oh, the side. So that's where, but that's my where... side's a bit fucked at the moment anyway. Nah, that's just asking for fucking de- uh, cross out two, two Ash hands every day of the week. And then, and then all they have is the Ash. You say that. I saw Ash once. All day. Lucky or unlucky? I was man. in a branded mirror and both of us are crying out to see an Ash Blossom and neither of us saw it. I meant we got to play, but at the same time, I don't 100% want that. I think fifty percent want that. I want me to be able to play, <laughs> if not to be able to play. I so, didn't draw nib all day today. It was weird. I, I was saw nib in so many hands, and they only summoned four times. I was furious. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, there's cross out and nib. Like I would draw, always draw the nibs in the cross out. It's like, well, well, well. I've told this story on the podcast before, but funny story in relation to uh, cross out versus cross out targets. I was doing the 3v3 uh, in Sydney mm. and I was going first with uh, Adding Mister. Um, and I hadn't, I don't know why I didn't side it out, maybe it was game one, but I opened the cross out, but I also opened the scythe. And I was like, hmm, that's not ideal because it is at a point where it's like prank kids, DPE, pop scythe, do the thing, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, um, I'd set up the board, I didn't have to use the. Um, 
thingo who didn't have in, any interruption for that, so I was happy with about that. Um, a couple turns play out, he's got the DP on board, and uh, DP comes back, and his uh, teammate goes, um, oh, pop the back row. And I'm like, yeah, do that. <laughs> Pops it, and then it's Scythe, and he's got the completely empty board because he hasn't set up any pank things. Um, prank things, I should say. And he's like, oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> If so only sometimes. he had his own cross out. I miss prank kids. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm in between. I understand they're gone. Yeah. But I did like them. Yum yum, you was the fucking busted guy. <laughs> Again, Link 1s. They're busted. And what do we say? That was like, if they give them a Link 1, even a new, like even a no effect 1, yeah, it could have done nothing. Great. And then they gave it a second effect. Yeah, which is amazing. Oh. oh excuse me. More broken link ones. If only they made the Charles link that bad. Where it's just like equip Charles from extra. <laughs> and our last question, again from Crobat5. Uh, if you have seen the change to the Konami's policies, what do you think of them? I personally do not like the ones making you wear a mask at events and calling out cheaters. Well, the calling out cheaters thing has always been a thing. It's now just like even more in writing than it was before. Like, it was always... Sorry, thing. elaborate to me, because I don't remember seeing that. So, it's like, if... Uh, so I think I'm correct in saying this. If you see someone cheating and don't report it, it is on you. <laughs> you, you yourself can also receive a penalty. Oh, uh, okay. thank God Pokemon doesn't Which has that. always been something <laughs> that existed, but now it's like a formal, yes, you will be receiving this penalty. And is this just like... In terms of you versing a person and you see them cheating? Or is it like you're, you, you're like a sitting next to? If you're actively watching a game and a cheating cheating occurs, it is also on you. Okay. You must maintain the game state of the play around you. Oh, God, how many fucking game states do I need to maintain? Yeah. I can barely maintain my own. Oh, well, I've got caution <laughs> this is, going now as well, yeah. This was, this was a rule in the Dragon Ball card game as well. Maintaining everyone's Yes. Thing. Yeah. And I have, I, I have gone to an event before where... I've seen players receive, like, official warnings and be given game losses for the next game for not maintaining for not maintaining someone states. else's yeah. game. And it's uh. it's as simple as, like, a mandatory effect not being adhered to. And then two turns later, uh, the judge is like, yep, yeah. they're like, oh, sorry, yeah, didn't, didn't get this. And the judge is like, yep, yeah, this, this. Also, the six of you that are crowded around this table, you will now have warnings as well. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the idea of that because, um, like, you do get those situations sometimes at YCS where, like, your opponent has a bunch of people behind them and things don't feel right. Yeah. So I like the idea that if things aren't right, they or, potentially get punished as well. I won't share that story in the podcast. Oh, that unsporting severe... That unsporting... This, that, some of those unsporting conduct ones. The mask ones... The mask one's weird, right? Yeah, and you've got to be cautious with the mask ones because a lot of people have medical, like, medical stuff. A lot of people even prefer to have it because also you can probably be in a different state where you would opt to wear a mask and be told to remove it. and then. So I hope it doesn't work the other way as well. It's just, I don't know, I don't think judges should have a dictation over that, especially before telling people to shower. Yes. Um, Imagine it. Your judge comes up and goes, why aren't you wearing a mask? You're also really stinky. Yeah. The DQ. <laughs> it. <laughs> I hope and doubt it will all come out reasonably. Conspiracy theory time. Oh, God. The reason why Konami is backing this mask mandate is because too many of their players were getting DQ'd for stinking, so now they want them all to have masks on so they can't tell their opponent smells. Um, I think it wouldn't matter. No, 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 They no, no, are no, no. very smelly people. No, 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 You're not, you're not seeing this. Someone probably got DQ'd from an event and decided to take Konami to court over getting DQ'd. I feel like we would have heard about this. Someone in America would have fucking sued over this. If they got DQ'd for being a stinky person, uh, they would have sued. And Konami's response has now been like, well, we can't change the policy back. However, masks, mandatory. That way you can't smell your opponent. Because it's not mandatory, it's only when instructed... As a, on an event to event basis, yeah. Yes, but what if instead of your opponent, your judge penalizing your opponent, they tell you to wear a mask? Mm. 
Yeah, what if so you dumb. what if you call a judge? I'm gonna thinly veil this because I've happened had this happen to me before. Um, so what if I player A call a judge on my opponent? Player B because player B smells. Judge number one comes over, who just so happens to be very good friends with player B. Ah. Judge goes, well, why aren't you wearing a mask? That's a game loss to you for not wearing a mask. But it's on an event by event basis, right? So they'd have to pre-announce it. You look shocked. What? Oh, I didn't see the a person post a video accusing another person of cheating. Yes. Well, that's also that's that has been a rule that has not been in writing, but is enforced. It is now in writing. What that they can be penalised for yeah, saying people something. People have been banned for doing this. That's why distant code is banned. No, no, he got he did cheat. Oh, he also cheated. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Then. But I imagine the dude that posted the video of him. No, 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 no. no. I swear, distant code of posted a video like actively calling out a judge by name and being like duck this guy hold on now I don't agree with that you can't turn up drunk how else will we wait what if I'm drunk while I'm there because we've definitely talked about that yeah you can't take uh, well, you can't take substances. yeah you can't take uh, unprescribed substances either damn my Ritalin <laughs> oh yeah Ritalin's not the what's I the other one I how my brain would function if I Vicodin. took Ritalin before an event hmm? Vicodin. No, Vicodin's the painkiller. Oxycodone. No, 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 no. It's no, also no. painkiller. No, no, we're looking for... Back to, we're, no, we're looking back to the ADHD meds, but not the Ritalin one. Riddle out. <laughs> uh, Adderall. Adderall's the good one. Adderall's the ticket. Um, Laser focus. People that take Adderall before a Pokemon event just perplex me. It's yeah. Pokemon. You don't need to take No, because it's so, it's so easy. You lose focus. Oh, yeah, true. Um... But the one I have a problem, so not a problem with, uh, the what, what will be the first inappropriate action on camera that someone will get disqualified for? Uh, Lude sleeps. No. On the live stream. Oh, so on the live stream. I don't think they'd ever put someone on camera that had lute sleeves. That's true. They generally make them change. Oh, those witchcrafter sleeves get pretty weird. Uh, that's true. However, that's it, an official comic product. Yeah, it's like we're talking like crotch chops, like. Because, like, as well as, like, when they do, like, the, the pan across the thing, if they, if they ID you, and you're inappropriate on a live stream. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. So, uh, has dicks and pants, people. Has that ever happened? Well, no, it can't have happened. No, no. A rule till now. No, I'm, I'm sure, though, that they've brought that rule in because people have done stupid shit on the live stream. Yeah, I, I feel like it just follows most laws in that it's not a law until it happens, and then it's a law. Yeah. So, what will be the first one after this point nudity I'm thinking cock out I'm thinking it's more I don't think any of you uh, player has the courage to take their cock out ab uh, absolutely not it would have to be Loza. is it was it <laughs> being serious <laughs> was it team werewolf when the guy has his cock out yes. at the end of the movie yeah. yes it's team wolf yeah <laughs> yeah team wolf yeah is, are we gonna have that I've never seen this before no it's like at the end and the basketball game happens and they win and they're like all celebrating it and like everyone hops <laughs> up to like cheer and there's a guy that stands up with okay. Yeah, the editors didn't notice. You're like, oh, yeah, okay. puts it away on camera. Right. Um, it has to be strong. I would, I would say it's probably more um, referencing to that kind of stuff. Like someone just taking like a plushie and just like putting it in. Oh, yep, yep. Like fucking a plushie. That might be a thing. Or even humping would be inappropriate, I imagine. Can you get into a Yugo event with a body pillow? That's not a question I want to answer. Will the Seki at the door stop you, or will a judge stop you if you show up with a body pillow? How far in a public displays of affection could you go on stream before they deem that inappropriate? You're not going to see that at a Yugo event. I don't know. A few of, the, a few of our men get pretty grabby. Yeah, but yeah you're assuring it's man and woman. What if it's just uh, homies kissing each okay, other? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, then they wouldn't call oh, it out. I mean, obviously, the intoxication thing would have to be shelved. Yeah. If you put Lachlan and Jesse in front of a camera for long enough... What if it's something... Well, you're either going to get, <laughs> like, man-on-man -man action in, like, a semi-pornographic state, or you're just going to get, like, a weird-looking UFC. Yeah. And if the audio is on, we're out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some terrible things would have been said before they even, like made contact uh but anyway 
that does conclude us for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Yeah, how um, would you get disqualified on the live stream? Let yeah, us know. how are you most likely to be disqualified? Um, so yeah, jump into the Discord, let us know. Link will be in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for listening um, and watching. If you are watching along on YouTube, please like and subscribe us. Um, jump into the Discord, ask us some questions for next week, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Nine o'clock Monday. Bye. Oh yeah, that's it.